Lana Rhodes. When it comes to that, so what I was talking about, like being pressured um, to do like more and more things, more hardcore things. So there's two different main genres of porn. There's gonzo porn, which is the aggressive porn that you guys are talking about. It's the rough anal sex. It's the choking. It's, and I'll go more into that. And then there's um, vanilla porn, which is what Olivia's talking about as um, ethical porn is what I think you would consider. Yeah. Um, it's just like classic, like missionary, like just like basically like artsy so I was just saying I'm kind of laughing this because I've had someone call me vanilla before uh, no, I mean I love vanilla I'm like why are you so vanilla I'm like what do you mean it makes me kind of hungry but I like I would, I've never even heard the term gonzo to be honest yeah, yeah. yeah. so gonzo is the the first level of it I would say would be just it's just like there's no like artistic vision to it it's just yeah. like rough hardcore sex yeah. um and that could be vaginal penetration the next level up would be anal penetration in a gonzo style um and then there's a level far more than that and i would say that during my time in porn i'm not sure what is like the hype right now in porn it goes through like different phases but during my short stint in porn um the really extreme acts were what was popular, and that's why being the number one performer in the industry at the time, everyone wanted to make money off me, so they pushed me to do these things. Um, and it just gets really extreme, like you were saying, abusive. Uh, Did you ever feel like... Why is she talking as if she was the victim? Why is she talking as if she didn't have a choice? Like she was forced. It was almost like she was born and they were like, porn. Immediately. She was a little baby. I see this baby doing porn. Immediately. You volunteered to do porn. Nobody forced you to do it. If you would say if you just wanted a taste, you just wanted to see how it is. You see how abusive they are, then you break out. You loved it. You loved the gonzo porn. The anal. You loved all of that. You loved it. So you kept at it. You loved the attention, the money, everything. So you kept doing it. So take some responsibility for your actions. Did you ever go through those experiences where you had to do a scene where it was very aggressive and you just felt like... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to go into too much detail. Like, honestly, some of my experiences are really humiliating for me. And I wish that they never happened. There's stuff going on, like people getting pissed on. Men are pissing inside of women's vaginas, assholes, down their throats. They're... Oh, don't cry. <laughs> don't cry like this. No, I cry. I'm like, God damn it. <laughs> no, don't cry. It's okay. Okay. No, that's honestly that's really hard, and I think like I had mentioned earlier. What is hard about it? You telling me this girl has never seen the industry before? You telling me she hasn't never? I remember when I was in a uh, school. When I was school, they had the two girls, one cup. That was like the viral thing right now. You don't think Lana saw two girls, one cup? You don't think she knew about that? She's acting as if she went into the industry. Before the industry, it was Disneyland. And when she went into the industry, it just became the hell. They just were like, no, you were changing it up. You bend over and let me piss in there. You knew what was up. It's just so important for young men to stop even stop viewing women as sex objects because I believe that you know instilling that curriculum in school at a younger age and they had actually said there's a fact that says that the more a young person had learned about the use of pornography from their school education or sex education is less likely to see women as sex objects and I feel that's why you know I I feel so passionate about the porn industry because I don't believe that they should be showing those types of scenes because it does 
view women as just an object and it's not okay to do that. Like, I enjoy watching porn. Like, girl, like, I, you know, but, like, I want to watch ethical porn. I want it to be normalized and I want it to be taught to where it shouldn't be to where a woman is being abused and is, you know, like, that the male is showing aggression because that actually is going to translate into his relationships with women in the future, his wife. Like, Mm -hmm. it's actually statistically proven that it's going to show aggression in a marriage, in a relationship, and that's, I mean, how is that healthy? Like, that's not healthy at all. Well, a lot of... First of all, you can't normalize it. You can't just have two of us. You can't just be like, I, I like porn. I'm not, let's normalize it. This is fun. Let's just, nor- let's just make it normal. You're putting on an internet, and this is a bunch of it. So when you, they always, you always got to take it to the next level. You can't just have a look. You can't just have that and not take, you can't just have level one and not try to take it to level two and then three. And then people going to want more. It's on the internet. It's great. So you can't just be like, oh, I like it and let's normalize it. For It's not normal. That life is not normal. You've seen these videos. It's not normal. It is not normal. It is not normal. That is not life. That's not how life is. None of those clips is, is how life works. It does never works like that, ever. I need the videos need to be real. You need to like take you on. They got to message them back and forth all the time. Highs and lows, hot and cold. We go on dates, drinks. You see you like me. You go to the bathroom. You do all this stuff. You don't like me now. I need you to see the whole thing. Not you show up at the 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 the, the house with a pizza box with your thing in the pizza box and get it on and popping. That's not life. understand and they think that this is normal and that's what girls want so they've probably never been with a girl before and they see these horrible things and they're like oh this is how to please a girl this is what i have to do this is what she wants and then they you know do these things and they act certain ways and they don't realize the effects that they're having on women yeah well they do say that serial killer and rapists are the ones who are consuming these extreme types of porns a lot of uh Serial killers, when they've gone through their search history, they're watching, like, these abusive porn, and there's tons of Mm. pornography on their search history. Yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I, obviously, like I said, I've watched porn, I do. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing wrong with watching porn. Yeah, but I've stumbled upon some videos where, I'm not gonna lie, I really questioned, why is this even allowed on the internet? Like, I felt very, like, I was just turned off, I was like shut my laptop like i can't even look at this i was like i cannot believe that this is okay like this is not okay to treat women like this yeah well guess what the girl that's sitting across from you at the table she did a a whole catalog of those videos and she got paid guap so that's why it's allowed money people want to see it and girls are like hey I got to make money. I got to make a living. I got to keep up with my fame, status, lifestyle, etc. And they do it. This is the harsh reality of the truth that people don't want to talk about. People will just want to see the glitz and glamour. Oh, the fame and the, the views and status. But they don't see what's happening behind the scenes. These people are miserable. It's dirty money. but I do want to continue giving examples mm-hmm. of some of those things just so people know. Um, what are, but what were some of the things that you saw that you were like, wow, this is really crazy? Yeah, I mean, th- there was one scene where I had seen, um, obviously, that the male was having sex with a girl, and um, she was literally crying because he was being so aggressive. Like, I guess, you know, he was just too big for her. I mean, she was, like, full-blown crying, and he was, like, slapping her. Like, you like that? Like, you know, I was just yeah. like... Oh my god, how can this, tr- like, I could not get off to this, so I don't know who watches this, too. Some people have that fetish, and it's crazy, yeah, and that's why they put it out there, because... Trust me, there's a bunch of guys getting off to that. There's a bunch of guys that are getting off to that. They wouldn't do it unless it was requested, and I know it sounds crazy, but that's just the matter it is. The market decides. The market asked, and so they... They did whatever it took, you know, whatever it takes, whatever it takes to get the scene. I've been reading a little bit about it and 
that's how the porn industry is. They just react towards the, the market and what they want, you know, as harsh as it sounds, you know. Because they're like, oh, somebody will watch it, which is just like, yeah, offense, but like, that's disgusting because obviously she's not okay. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, to me, it's just, it really makes me sad because I think of the girl and I think, wow, like, I can just see in her eyes that she did not want to do the scene. But she's doing it because of the reasons of, you know, she needs the money or this is a flexible job for her. Now, she was convinced, she was pressured, you know, she was manipulated into doing this by her agent because he, you know, told her, like, it's either this way or the highway. Like, I can't even imagine how that girl felt having to do something that she clearly does not want to. You girls need to start taking accountability. If you don't want to do a scene, don't do the scene. If you don't have the money, move back home with your folks. If you if you if you don't have folks, really try to be homeless. Because there's gonna be consequences if you go this route. And you might be young, you'd be like, oh no, you know, it's, it's, it's gonna be a rainbows forever. No, there's gonna be consequences if you go this route. And this is what Lana is dealing with right now. She's dealing with the consequences for her actions early on. And you don't want to be one of these girls. You'd rather grind it out low, get a regular job, McDonald's, anything but this. Because it will bite you in the future. To do like, this is not acting like she's full blown crying. Mm -hmm. You know, like I, there's just no way she's acting and enjoying this, so. Yeah. No, I've had friends who have been choked out so much that they've actually passed out during a scene. Um, there's really just like crazy stuff going on that damages people's bodies for the rest of their lives. Mm -hmm. I luckily don't have any issues, but I've seen scenes shot in Europe where guys are literally punching into a girl's asshole like this and like she's going to have issues for the rest of her yeah. life due to this. And is it worth someone making a little bit of money and someone jerking off to it. Mm -hmm. um, one of the worst, honestly, I feel like I'm in denial sometimes and I can't accept some of the things that I've done. There is one thing that, you know, I tried talking to a therapist about before something that I had to do for a scene that was really rough for me. Um, basically, this guy had a bowl and he like gagged me until I threw up into it and then he like pissed in the bowl and during the scene he asked me to drink it and I didn't know how to say no. It was one of the most disgusting foul scenes I ever had to do and I'm telling a therapist this and they don't even fucking know what to say to me. Yeah. yeah. No one can relate. Like no one fucking knows what to say about it. And so when it obviously, so obviously I don't know how like porn is shot, they don't tell you beforehand does this, did they tell this guy to, have to do these things, or did he just my in agent, his own brain This one my decide. agent was actually very pissed about. Okay. And again, like, I'm not saying that I was raped. I... But you were put I, on the spot. I told yeah, sure. this guy, like, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this. I just, I didn't know how to say no. I, I didn't, I just wanted everyone to be happy. So it's, I can't blame anyone. All that I can do now is make the best of yeah. my experience and yeah. accept it, which is really hard for me to do. Um, sorry, what was your question again? Um, I mean, no, like, I think you pretty much answered my question. <laughs> but, no, I was just gonna, you know, um, chime in and say about how you had to do something that, you know, you didn't want to do or you felt pressured. I definitely can relate to that just even by, like, working at Hooters. I know, I mean, you have worked there. I obviously have a little longer history of that. And, you know, I definitely was a sex object. Like, that's who I was viewed as working at Hooters. Clearly, I was the complete opposite of that. But, you know, I definitely was pressured into some things that I didn't want to do with men. Um, they had the audacity to ask me to literally go give them a hand job behind the dumpsters. <laughs> yeah, you know. Um, it's, not like, oh. it's not funny. You know what? That's funny because that has that's nothing compared to what she went through. A hand job behind the dumpsters. Lana Rhodes, man. So, let me tell you something. She'll do a million of those. She'll do a million of those compared to what she just did in that that last scene. She's like, a hand job behind it. That, that is clockwork. Clockwork. I will do that in a heartbeat. And then some. You know, that's nothing. 
behind a dumpster. Woo wee! That is light, light work. Light feet. Dumpster. Dumpster is is hot. It's hot behind a dumpster. It's like it's like you're dirty. You're a dirty little hooters girl that that needs the money. You know what I mean? Dumpster, most definitely. You know? Listen, I, I, listen, I don't know exactly, I can't relate, you know, you was a Hooters girl and everything like that, and you was put in pressure situations, I get that, but your situation is nothing compared to Lana's, nothing, Lana was in the graveyard, she was in the slums you was in ac wearing booty shorts that's nothing compared to what she went through she was wearing those shorts for like two seconds and then all hell broke loose you your life is nothing compared to lana rhodes her life is scarred for the rest of her life everything and what I have to say to Lana is that this, these are the things that you have to live with. If you're a porn star and or, or a star, I don't know if I could say that word, but we are, they said it a million times this, this video. Uh, you have to live with that. You have to live with it. You have to take responsibility and live with it and just try to live the best life you can in the future. Is it going to affect your future? Yes. And I think she's having a kid is going to affect the kid as well. It's going to affect the whole, her whole family, the, her whole surroundings. That's who she is. That's who she's going to be labeled to be. And these are certain things that you got to be aware of when you turn 18 and you're a girl. You can't just rush into certain things. This industry is, is brutal. It, uh, dude, even if you're at home, if you're a guy and you watch this, it's, this would affect you. You would look at the world in a, in a different way, in a different lens. You know? So imagine for a woman that's participating in it. And you know how emotional women get. Come on. Are you kidding me? They will go them. They'll drive themselves crazy. Even when you see those interviews where a lady's actively in, in this industry and how she's just all sexual and smiling. I saw this. I saw Sarah J on a Fresh and Fit podcast, and she was just like, she had like, she looked crazy. She was like forcing a smile. <laughs> she was like eighty eight, doing, still doing it, still in the game. Sad. But it is definitely affects you. It affects your offspring. It affects, it affects your ability to find a mate in the future. If you really want to get married and find a mate, it will affect the mate that you have. It will affect your kid's life and your surroundings. That's why most porn people, uh, porn, most, most actors just stay in the industry because they, they there's the only people that can relate to them. They can't go out in the real world and and live a normal life, especially a lady that like her who was the top in her industry, the top in her field.
It affects your ability to pair bond. You, you know, you had all these partners. You can't really pair bond with somebody no more. You can't. You can't have one. You think you're just going to settle. You can't just settle settle with a, get married by one person for the rest of, what do you think this is you was just in the in a gang bang with the whole squad anyway what you guys think i thought it was an interesting vid comment like subscribe and i'll see you guys soon one 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 out peace